So the use of this new facial recognition could in some respects be a game changer for the Ukrainians. Joining me now is the CEO of Clearview AI, Juan Tan Tat, who I should disclose, I initially met through my father who represents Clearview. Welcome to the show, it is great to have you here. Uh, thanks, Dan, for having me on, it's great to be here. So explain to me how this happens. You just write a letter to the Ukrainians that say, dear Ukrainian government, and they accept it? Well, um, when I started seeing the images coming out of the Ukraine, it was really upsetting and devastating because uh, you see children, uh, women just, you know, um, and, and it's tough and to watch. It's really yeah. tough to yeah. watch. Right. And so uh, it started to have a lot of uptick and people were saying, you know, what can we do as a company? Uh, a lot of companies were asking. And so um, when I saw some of the video footage, too, of uh, these captured Russian soldiers who clearly really didn't want to be there, I realized, well, perhaps facial recognition could be of use. Um, and so I was reaching out to a lot of my teammates and we have one person on our advisory board in particular, Lee Wolowski, and he used to be an ambassador. And he was just actually in touch with the Ukrainians. And I said, well, you have to give them this letter. Here are these possible use cases on how it would work. And uh, we kept trying. I tried almost every avenue I could think of. And um, uh, they got back to us. And then I said, look, I'll help set up the accounts for free. I'll help train them. And a few days ago on Saturday, uh, we got them set up and up and running. And so um, I think that they've grasped how useful it can be in these kind of scenarios. And we'll find out and stay in touch with them and see, uh, you know, if there's any possible good stories that have come out of it. Yeah, so you don't know exactly yet how the Ukrainians are using it, right? Yes, but we, you know, when we gave them a demonstration in the demo, they were able to give us some sample photos and we were able to put them through. And a lot of the times you would actually find them on that, the Russian social media site, Vekontate. So what's really fascinating is it could be a really big deterrent for potential infiltrators if they know that facial recognition's out there. Um, and the other surprising things, too, are uh, a lot of people in refugee situations might not have any identification with them, right? They might be just, you know, have, having to leave their homes in a rush, uh, not having ID. And so that kind of processing that happens at these checkpoints uh, to speed that up, to get more verification could be, you know, immensely useful. So we're just beginning to understand the potential uh, applications of the technology. And um, there's always certain concerns about it, but what you realize in a war zone, uh, it's really um, a dangerous place. And if you can help identify people, good people on your side or not on your side, uh, the safer it is for everybody. So this is a question I'm sure you get asked all the time mm -hmm. by law enforcement in mm -hmm. this country. How accurate is it? Yeah, so facial recognition now, and particularly Clearview AI, is extremely accurate. So we've been tested by the NIST agency, which is run here in the U.S. out of 650 algorithms. We rank overall second in the world, and the number one algorithm is a Chinese one. But modern facial recognition can pick a face out of a lineup of about 12 million at a 99.85% accuracy. And that's what our uh, algorithm scored as. But what's more important is it's always, uh, you have an algorithm and then you always have human review, right? You still have to have a human judgment to, uh, to make a positive identification. And I've got to believe that mm -hmm. this is not the sort of technology that it could get in the hands of the Russians and then suddenly they could misuse it because you guys still have control, right, over who has access to it. Yeah, so as a cloud service, when we uh, have a customer that we want to work with, we vet them, we make sure they say who they are. We're making sure that it's anyone who is either in law enforcement, military, or in the government, uh, because, and then we give them proper training. So this is how you use it properly. And we also ask what scenarios are they really uh, using it for? So if you're an investigator behind the desk and it's not uh, always out in the field, it's extremely uh, safe to use and, and easy to use and can also reveal a lot of information they might not have had before. Are you at all worried about Russian repercussions of, of now the company sort of siding with the Ukrainians? Yeah, we're always worried about, you know, cybersecurity in particular. It's a, a country that has very capable, uh, you know, uh, hackers and things like that. But I think that's just part of uh, any kind of internet business uh, these days is to you know, make sure your security is, you know, on that, you know, really secure. And so we're prepared for And I would think that that's that the sort of thing you might be pretty good at, right? Yeah. Is cyber security. We, I mean, we've been working yeah. really hard on it <laughs> and it's something, you know, we're, we're preparing for and something we take seriously. And we, we just, we really care about the situation here. And it's something that it just breaks my heart seeing that, uh, it, that people, and I, I've met some people here in the U.S. who are from the Ukraine, yeah. and I'm talking to them again, and it's just surreal to be zooming into a war zone. 
yeah. and everyone in Ukraine is really trying to help uh, no matter who they are. So yeah. it's really impressive. I think it's great uh, what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. And um, I think this is an incredibly valuable tool that's being understated um, in the value that it can really bring to the Ukrainians. So uh, Juan, thanks so much for coming to the studio. Great thanks, to have Dan. You. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.